Hey, Guffier, it's a new day, and that means there's a new review. Today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series, number 56, Leader Class Shockwave. There he is, along with the accessories, and shall we begin? Yeah. First thing that we're going to scratch off of our list is going to be the packaging. So let's move... Shockwave along with the accessories out of the way So that way we can take a look at the packaging Let's go on ahead and readjust this real quick so we can actually get the whole thing in our Sights here. There we go And on the front here we have Shockwave looking all menacing like like how he always does Studio she Studio Series 56, Shockwave, Transformers, Dark of the Moon, Hasbro, Transformers, Generations, Takara Tomy. And then on the left here we have him looking all menacing with this Cyclopsic Eye. Studio Series 56, Leader Class on the right side of it. We have another picture of... Him looking all the same as the front, authentic transformers. They really should invest and go on ahead and having for the Decepticons the Decepticon logo. On the top, it's just a little window to look down, and then it does say Transformers, Stock of the Moon. On the bottom, we do have the barcode along with words and so forth and so on, how to recycle, blah blah. And then on the back, we do have the pictures of the product in different modes. We do have the little big screen inspired scale detail backdrop. Battle of Chicago. So, yeah, the backdrop back there, I'll just take it out towards the end just to show you guys. But, there we go. There we go. There's the accessories that comes with them, the backdrop, which is included, and then just says a little what's going on, and then there we go. And then on the very bottom, not for three and under, otherwise there's a choking hazard and all that. So with that being done, let's go ahead and move that to the side here, and... Let's get on to it. There we go. So, first things first, let's go ahead and get done with the little accessories that he comes with. A little paratrooper that, you know, acts like he's falling down onto Shockwave like in the movie. Me. And then we have these two little guys that I actually have on him. Which is the two little guys from the movie. There we go. Silly little thing. Kind of hard to get it to focus on him. Supposedly the little monster truck. Transformer guy that, you know, remote controlled one. There we go, but looks more like a blue and black ET to me with wheels on his feet. And then we have the little scientist guy that was with him, if I remember correctly. Been in route since actually watched any of the movies. Camera's having a real hard time focusing on them. You have the shiny metallic sky blue. They did not paint the back of it though. And the rest of him is painted in silver. And then if you look closely, if you got it yourself, the eyes are also lit up in a blue. The paratrooper, I meant to say, just like the mouth part is painted a different color, the rest of him is painted in the same color black, 
and then the cloth or whatever they made the parachute out of. Doing it a little bit differently, I guess, with Shockwave today. I have him already transformed into the vehicle mode, which is looks more like a Cybertronian tank, basically, that's all it looks like. So his alt mode is a Cybertronian tank. He is done up in a metallic looking purple and like battle damage on it. As you can see like the underneath the purple is more of a black. The end of it though it's made out of like a rubber material. Same with this along with a lot of this pointy stuff I guess to make sure that it don't really poke nobody I guess. And they won't get hurt. This part which is part of the feet is done up in black and silver. Really nice. I like it. More of the metallic purple. More visible shade of purple. And then you have black going on along with some more metallic purple all the way through. And then you have the little cord that connects to his cannon to the back of him so you have that connecting right there to there when you get the uh, toy you actually have to plug this part in not too hard but it is a pain to pull out so and then the thrusters in the back is done up in a silver and weird Brown. Cool thing with the thrusters is you can actually move them around to whichever way you want. You can have them like that. You can have this one down so they're all facing down. Or you can have it like that. Have one like that. Your toy, your choice. And then you do have his other arm here, right here, as you can see. Looking at it from the front, you have the hand right there. There we go, and then his little, I guess I can say, third or blade, arm blade. And then, hello, looking like a lobster or something. Not too bad, though. If you're looking at it from like this angle, you can't tell it's his head until you look straight at it. All in all, really good paint scheme, I guess. I like it. For comparisons, though, he is a leader class, so most of them that I have right now, three of them is going to be leader class, so here he goes with Sieges leader class shockwave. Because, hey, why not? Uh, literally, is that much longer? Yeah, if you compare them, he seems to be more taller, but not as long. Here he goes with Leader Class So here he goes with Scavenger I believe it is So the Leader Class Scavenger from Studio Series as well So as you can see Scavenger is a little bit taller about the same length, depending on if you like that. They're about the same width. So there, there you go. Here he goes with 
leader class. Optimus Prime. With the trailer. And that is Earthrise Optimus Prime. As you can see with the trailer, he is a little bit longer. Not as wide though. Here he goes with Studio Series Voyager class. Mix Master. And last now but not least, here he goes with Deluxe Class Scrap Metal. A lot bigger. So, on to the transformation. First things first, I usually will say take this part off, completely made out of rubber material. Then what you're going to want to do, go ahead and unhinge this back piece from the shoulders, the top of the shoulders, like so. They're pegging right there to them spots. So go on ahead and pull that out. And then what you're going to want to do next is go on ahead and untab the left arm. It tabs in right there into his forearm right there. And then go on ahead and untab his right arm as well. It pegs in the same exact way. There's the peg hole. There's the peg. Go on ahead and bring out these. Unpeg the shoulders as well. Everything basically pegs into everything. So this peg right here would peg into that. This peg pegs into that peg hole. Then you got this weird looking self. So what you want to do now is go on ahead and unpeg the legs from the chest. So they peg in to that spot. If There we go right there. With that peg. So you literally just peg them in. Same thing with the other leg. Unpeg it. Then, you're going to want to unpeg the back piece from basically his butt. <laughs> it's a tight fit, but I does the peg, and that's the peg hole. Kind of, how to see it? There we go. Right above the two screws. Then, it's on like a double hinge, basically, so you're going to want to bring it up. And bring it on through. There we go. Bring his head up. Like so. And then go on ahead and bring these on up. They're going to peg into his shoulder though. So. That peg right there. Will peg into the same peg that pegs into the back piece. So. Kind of tight fit on mine. Go on ahead and peg this peg into that hole right there. And these right here will slide into them to slits. 
slits. And you'll hear click into place. So like with this bag, you can have it somewhere as vehicle mode, whichever way you want it to be. And then go on ahead and bring the cannon around. Now with the legs, very simple. You bring them back out and then up and into the thigh. Same thing with this one. Fold it, bring it up. And then for the feet and legs, you're gonna wanna take this, bring it down, bring this back a little bit, and there we go. Here's a kneecap, basically. Can move like so. So that will allow you to move him around. Now for the feet, just bring them up and move them basically into place. They don't click in, at least mine don't do none of that. And then to have him be able to balance this part, which is able to be turned and rotated as well. So what I do is I rotate it first to be like that and then I bring it back so it's usually able to be done like that. And that's what's gonna let him balance on his feet. Same thing with this foot. When you go to transform it it's going to be looking like this, so you just bring it up, bring it down, like so. Grab a hold of this, bring it down, bring it around. And there we go. Bring his head back, like so. So, it's going to be like that. You just push it back, and there we go. Now for the last thing that you can do, don't know why mine feels off a little bit. Hmm. There we go. It's this little blade. I said blade, I don't know exactly what it is, I forget, but pegs into that hole there with this peg. And there we go. His face is done up in purple with silver with the red menacing eye. Purple and black. His chest is done up in purple, along with some silver and the silver in the abdomen. Gray up in the thighs, along with some purple in the thighs, along with his kneecap is done up in purple, along with the rest of his leg and feet, basically, is done up in the same, like, gunmetal gray slash black color. And then the treads and his vehicle mode can be seen right there. And they do have some gold tint to it as well. And then the back is done up in primarily like a gray metal look like a gunmetal gray along with silver and that same brown that I said before his little blade is done up in silver and black his hand is not really posable it doesn't move or nothing it's just under by a pen basically. So 
So you do have some movement in the waist, wrist. But the fingers don't move unless you make them move like so. So for posability you do have a little bit more than 90 degree bend at the kneecap you can have it do like that have the kneecap come down the feet do move back and forth due to the transformation but they don't move you know side to side um no waist movability this does come off you do have a 90 degree bend at the arm you do have a full basically 360 in the left arm you could have a full 360 in the right arm but the plug the cord gets in the way from doing so unless you take it off but I'm not gonna do that you do have rotation at the bicep area you do have the bend at the elbow as well same thing with this one rotation at the bicep head it's on the ball joint you do have a full 360 spin at the head there you can look up like hey who's that look down if you really want to have him looking down there we go but yeah there we go now for size comparisons let me move him real quick. So, let's actually move this up a little bit. There we go. So, here he goes with a Siege self. Little class from Siege. There we go. I don't know why I did not notice it until couple days ago the shockwaves blaster is on the right arm the seizures is on the left arm I have to whoop, double check because usually it's on the left arm so when I guess Michael Bay the had them um, do it they switch the arm to the right arm personally I don't have no problem with it. Come on now, you are just standing just fine. There we go. So as you can see, they're about the same height. Here he goes with the Optimus Prime from Earthrise, which is the leader class one. But as you can see with how he is, he is more of a Voyager class size instead of a leader class, but generally almost the same height. Here he goes with the leader class Ravager, not Ravager, but Scavenger Studio Series leader class. As you can see, a little bit shorter due to the wheel, but other than that, here he goes with the Voyager class Studio Series Mix Master. So due to the back of the truck and his arms and shoulders, he's a little bit smaller. And then last but not least, 
Here he is next to the deluxe class scrap metal. All in all, I like the figure a lot. As you can see, there's a lot of detail. Especially in like the cannon. And then the feet do it too, along with the legs, as you can see. Even in the thrusters, there's a lot of detail. And the tricep. Even the hand has a lot of detail. All in all, very good detailed toy. And like how the Studio Series always has, it does have the backdrop. Where you can have the figures from the Studio Series be displayed on it. Like so. Other than that, hope you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, whatever. See you next time.